Hey everybody, this is Tammy with Robin's Nest. I thought I'd bring you along today for what I'm doing. I need to get a stain and a sealer on my step railing that my son built for me. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Uh, we've already been to the Humane Society. We needed to return some crates from getting the kittens. And we went to the public library because they're starting a book mobile that will go around to the daycares and bring books once a month. The kids can go on the van, pick out their own books, uh, and then they come back and pick them up. And the daycares are not responsible for any damaged, lost uh, books or we are not liable for any late fees. So I think that's a really good program. You can also have the children's librarian come in and have a circle reading with the, with the book each time. Um, I don't know if we'll choose that or if we'll just have them come out and let the kids pick a book each month to look at for the book. So at that, I will turn you around and I'll show you what I'm working on today. Okay, so this is what I'm working on today. I got these railings that my son built for me and they're getting weathered. They're about a year and a half old. So I needed to get some stain on them. So I'm doing uh, ebony. It is ebony, and it is a stain and polyurethane. So I just got just a little bitty uh, half quart of it to see how far that will go. So I don't know if you can tell. But it's going to be a dark, dark brown, hopefully a black by the time it gets done. So anyway, I'm going to get busy on this and I'll show you when I finish. I have two of them, one on the front door and one on the back door. Alrighty guys, this is Sunday morning and I finally got the front one done. I had to run to the store and get more stain, but I think it turned out pretty good. Looks pretty good. So now I am on to the back one everything's so dead from the heat the grasshoppers have really just ate the, these plants up they'll get full back in here where I cut them down so we could paint look at all the damage from the grasshoppers if you have any su suggestions on how to get rid of grasshoppers let me know so anyway i'm back here starting on this one the woods kind of got weathered in the last year and a half so but i'm gonna get it going and i'll show you what it looks like when i get done all righty well i ran out of the can that I went and bought yesterday, I still got this and this side over here to do, but I don't know if I'll go to Walmart today, so I'll probably wait and go tomorrow after bus run or something, but in the meantime, I wet my cardboard back down trying to suppress the grass, and I'm painting some more of these buckets to go over there because I'm going to have eight of them over there with individual plants um, I've got several things going on I need to get done need to clean up a lot of little limbs and stuff that's left from that big tree um, do some raking pull some tomato plants out that has uh, pretty much they're done for the season so i'm gonna let you guys go so that i can go ahead and upload this video 
and uh, I will catch you next time. Please give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later. Bye.